Hi everyone, this is Ida with Created to Create. I wanted to share my project with you guys. I hope I can do the angle right. I recorded it and when I was looking at it, you guys, I could see that the video was very shaky and just by looking at it, it made me dizzy. So I'm sorry about that. I went ahead and deleted it. So I'm hopefully re-recording, but I cannot position my phone at a better angle so I can show you you know everything that I want to show you because of the size of the basket but I wanted to share with you the purple basket that I made for uh, one of my sisters and I am going to move the phone so hopefully you can see there's the bottom and maybe that's better there's the uh, purple one that I did the the corset and I used it as a gift basket you guys and the reason it's dark purple in the bodice is because I added tissue paper inside to coordinate with uh, the details that I did on the bodice and then I have um, let me see lift up and then I have the uh, purple bow up here way on top and now the bag that I used to 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 put the basket in I bought this bag at Hobby Lobby you guys and it was a perfect size I had about three or four inches left on top where I was able to to put my bow and um, here's my tag I made this tag a while ago a while ago um, and it says friends, but you know, I do consider my sister a friend because I can talk to her about anything. So I had this put away and, and it matches, uh, cause it's the Prima Lavender collection. So it's got the purples, roses and stuff going on in copper. So I uh, went ahead and put this tag on there and then, um, Abby conquered the macarons, you guys. So she made me some macarons to, uh, put in my sister's basket and, uh, the, the the baked goods box was all white and I covered it with uh, the Prima Lavender collection paper so it would match everything. And then my sister's a diabetic so, you know, I did add a regular candy because sometimes, you know, you want that real candy and not that, uh, you know, sweetener in it. So I bought her some of the real, the regular uh, chocolates or candy and then I got her the Russell Stover back here these are uh, sugar-free so I, w I actually bought her uh, a combination of both and uh, so there's different bags in here and and then some of the regular candy but you know I did just turn it into a gift basket you guys and I absolutely love the way it looks let me lower this down some more now this little detail down here uh, maybe lower it a little bit more. This little uh, flower right here was gifted to me by my friend Carolyn. So there was three in a pack and it has an acrylic flower. Then it has a deep purple rose. And I, it came three in a pack. So I put one here and one on either side of the handle of the basket. And as you can see, my, my the handle on my basket is purple as well. Because I like to cover uh, the handles. I like to cover the handle so everything looks nice and finished. But look at what a beautiful presentation this uh, corset basket that uh, you know makes. And uh, all this lace, of course, was gifted to me by my crafty friends. Thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. And uh, I didn't have any lavender trim or anything, but I had this purple ribbon. And on the side right here, I just, after I had adhered the, the white lace, I added two strips on either side of, uh, it has some flowers going down the center right here. So on either side of that flower, I added the purple ribbon. And then I added some of these uh, pieces of um, flat back, flat back uh, pearls that we all bought at... Um, the ones that came in the box at Michael's and it had gray in there, but it had the solid gray. Then it had the iridescent. Well, because it's iridescent, even though it's gray, the color that you put it up against, that's the color that reflects. So they, it, the reflection is purple on it. And I really love the way it looks. And then, as you guys know, that I, um, I started uh, putting my things away in boxes uh, in, in color coordination. So in my purple and lavender box, and I don't have like one for every shade of purple. I have one purple box and you know, and uh, it can be any shade of purple. And I had this little bling piece. I hope that you guys can see that. That little uh, bling piece right there, this one. I had that in my box, so I adhered it there, and I didn't buy that. One of you ladies, uh, I'm sure, gifted it in an embellishment box or something, so I uh, put it there, and I think it's beautiful there. And um, 
but anyway that's what I did with it guys I think like I said it makes a beautiful presentation and all I did was I get my sister things that she likes that she loves sweets and even though they're not good for her that's what she likes and because she you know when we get to be our age we can pretty much buy whatever we want if we, if we really want it you know or maybe our wants are not as uh, um are not as expensive as when we were younger you know we're happy with the little things nowadays so anyway um you know that's what i did for her i, I gave her things that you know she could share with her family and things that she's not going to throw away or put in a corner anywhere because it really isn't her thing and i know that sweets are her thing so that's what i did you guys and uh, i also have another sister that's my youngest sister my sister's birth that uh this basket is for that's my oldest sister her name's Irma. Hi, Irma. And then uh, my youngest sister, Maria, she wanted to see the blue one because I said I had made a blue one. So there is the blue one, you guys. And I told her it's on Instagram, but she's not really um, into computers and all that. So she says, yeah, but you know, I don't know how to do that, but I so want to see it. So I told her, when I record the gift basket, I'll show the blue one. But here's the blue one, you guys, with the baby blue with the white uh, lace. And I added this uh, little bling piece from one of the, uh, um, I think this came from, oh, I really don't know, from one of you ladies. And then these blue flowers right here are vellum flowers that I bought at Michael's they were like a clear on clearance and they had them in all colors and I bought all the colors they had and this baby blue with the bling center was one of the colors and then I had this trim this is actually I think an old trim uh, that I had in my shed so I put it here and then this trim on top right here was gifted to me by my friend Carolyn and it one package was enough to go around the whole thing and I think she said she paid a, a dollar for the pack and then this bling right here in the center, I didn't have anything in a baby blue, guys, but because this is iridescent, it reflects the blue. What, Like I said, anything iridescent reflects the color you put it with. So the reflection you see is the blues, and it's really pretty. And again, I don't know who gifted me this. It must have been in one of the boxes, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then I've added uh, the little bows right here with just the Dollar Tree hearts that are also iridescent with a double loop seam binding bow. And let me show you the back. There's the back to it. It's very simple, you guys. But I think these make wonderful uh, gift baskets. Uh, especially for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, birthdays. Even a just because, you guys. It, it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, guys, that's what I created. I hope that that you like it and, and that you give it a try. Anybody who receives one of these baskets, I'm sure, would love it. You know, especially it's, if it's filled with, you know, their favorite, whether it be snacks or or just things in general that, that the recipient likes. But the presentation, and I, I'm not real good about presentation, you guys know. Um, but the presentation on this, I can tell you that I'm totally satisfied with it. I hope that you like what I created, you guys, and I hope that you try it. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day, and God bless. Bye.